Here is an early 1960s General Electric round tube color TV. This had been on the barn porch for a long time. And I think I'm going to try to take this to the storage unit in Midland. Eventually I want to get it to the West Building for repairs. I want to try to get all the round tube sets uh, out of the barn there because the roof is starting to leak and there's just a chance that they might get some water damage. So I'm trying to get them all into a, uh, a better protected environment. Here's a lot of PVA delamination on this uh, tube. It's a 21FJP22. And this actually, the CRT is good. I think the last time that I turned this on was probably about five years ago. And I got this for $5 at Old Sorehead Trade Days in Stanton. The power switch fused in the, I think it fused in the off position. So I had either stuck on or stuck off, so I'm going to have to uh, repair the power switch to get it to work. It's got a UHF optional uh, thing there where you can put the UHF tuner. And it's a CTC-15 type chassis. I'm going to go around and take a look at the back. Here's the back view of the GE round tube set. I'm going to try to vacuum this before I take it to Midland because it's just full of spider webs and all kinds of just trash. It's really filthy. I think this HV compartment is full of junk too, but I don't always watch out for Black Widow spiders. One time, I luckily haven't got bit by one, but I found them inside of TVs. Now, it looks like the Aquadag is coming off of the picture tube. I remember that there used to be a spray Aquadag that you could buy and spray it. I've actually used aluminum foil on these to, to repair the Aquadag. It doesn't look good, but it works. But ideally, I'd like to replace that Aquadag on that tube. The tube's going to need a lot of uh, tension to repair the PVA delamination. These are actually General Electric uh, capacitors on here, electrolytics. Well, this is a CTC, RCA CTC 15 design. It was made by GE. And I think a long time ago I put a cathode fuse in there on the horizontal uh, output tube. And the speaker is made by Sylvania. You see that LEAF logo with that S uh, designates Sylvania. Let's see if I can see a date code on one of these electrolytics. This camera has a hard time focusing sometimes. Okay, 6322. 188, let me tell you about that date code. Date code is 188-6322. And a lot of things have this kind of code. 188 is the EIA code for General Electric, and you also find that on tubes. And 274, for instance, is RCA. And then 6322, that means 1963, the 22nd week. There's a site uh, on the web that has all the EIA codes. It's got like RCA, uh, Amperex, uh, Sylvania, any any kind of maker of electronic components has an EIA code, and I don't know I don't I don't know if those codes are used anymore. They may take different forms. There's the convergence panel. I got this uh, tied down with a ratchet strap to this board inside the van, and seems to be holding on pretty well. 